Been to a good local independent bookstore lately? Good luck with that. From its earliest history, Boston has always prided itself on being a center for learning, literature, and culture. It did, after all, earn the nickname the Athens of America. Its public library, still one of the nation's finest. But when it comes to bookstores, well, in Boston as well as the actual Athens, they vanished almost as completely as parking spaces. In Boston proper today, there are less than half a dozen independent bookstores still selling new books. Here, of course, they're still free. When Trident opened in the 80s, there were multiple stores on the block of bookstores. Over the years, the first threat was the big box stores. So a lot of places went by the wayside then. And then the next wave of threat was Amazon, which is still a factor. Courtney Flynn manages Trident Booksellers and Cafe, a Newbury Street stalwart started by her parents, celebrating its 35th anniversary this year. Their message for other brick and mortar independents there is life after Amazon. Bookstores were the first casualty. So the stores that have survived are really strong because they're, they're reinventing what they offer. Reinvention here has unfolded like a book in steady and successive chapters. Now we have a full restaurant. So that's a big factor in our business. We added the gifts, we added cards, we've changed our event style. You have to keep thinking of new things and changing with the times. Even with its regular reinvention, Trident has managed to remain in the center of a city, one of those elusive third places, a community gathering spot like a diner or a library, offering food, books, company, and more. We're not going to just say we're independent and local, buy from us. You know, you have to offer something that people actually want to come back for because you can't guilt trip someone into buying a book. Hi, Karen. This is Clarissa calling you from Frugal Bookstore. Just calling to let you know that we have your book here. We oh, have had so people easy. actually walk by and then they do a double take and then they come in and they're just like, I can't believe there's a bookstore here. But there it is, the Frugal Bookstore in Roxbury's Dudley Square. Clarissa Cropper and co-owner Leonard Egerton opened in 2008, just in time for the Great Recession. We didn't know the recession was going to happen, but people embraced the fact that we had a bookstore in their community. They had books that uh, represented and looked like people who were from the community. For kids, there's homework help here two afternoons a week. At the bookstore. At the bookstore. <laughs> Where else but at the bookstore? Our motto is changing minds one book at a time. We know people are still reading on their Kindles, but people love the feel of an actual book. And know at the same time you're supporting a local business. They have pride in that, you know, that they're giving back. 25 miles west of Boston in West Acton, a sighting as rare as a unicorn, a brand new, recently open, independent bookstore. So is it safe to say that Opening a new bookstore today requires a certain leap of faith. A, a pretty big leap of faith. Former sports writer and journalist Paul Swiden was discouraged by the closing of longtime local Willow Books in 2017. And a lot of my parent friends were like, well, where do we go now? Then there was the struggle to get a bank to back a bookstore. I got one bank to give me a loan, Northern Bank and Trust, but I, before I talked to them, I went 0 for 4 with four other banks, one of whom flat out told me, um, you know, this is a great proposal and I'm sure you do well, but we just don't do retail anymore. At all? At all. What does that say to you about independent retail? We've been beaten down by the concept of finding a deal without really considering the repercussions of what it does to our communities. But loan in hand, Swiden set about creating his dream, a local bookstore in what had been, of all things, yeah, a car wash. We've, uh, we've had people come in and say, hey, I've driven through here before. And I, I look at them and I say, that's funny, just don't do it again. <laughs> Bone dry now and well stocked, the bookstore caters to all ages, all interests, and um, all heights. Will it all work out? Good question. But the owner is counting on the three C's. There's curation, we've got to have books that people want to read. There's convenience, we're open seven days a week. And there's community. You have to know your customers, you have to know what interests them, you have to know where you can help out if you want people to know you and to trust you. Can I need a bag? Um, 